Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a Pokemon Showdown battle from a tournament in the Never Used chat room between Hacks Runes Pokemon and I Play Tennis LOL. I'm going to call them Hacks and Tennis for this match. And um, looking at the teams, Hacks seems to have a more offensive team um, with Uxy support, I guess, and um, Rotom could go either way. And Tennis's team, he looks like he has a more balanced team that could have some sweepers and some maybe potentially defensive for walls, but it looks a little more uh, interesting and built together, uh, synergy, whatever. First turn jumping into this Uxie versus Magneton. Um, Uxie gets up his rocks and he goes to the Thunderbolt and actually gets the Paralyzation, so that sucks. Is that going to play a factor? Let's see what happens turn two. He's actually going to leave his Uxie into die, so Uxie down turn two. I guess he did it for Ala. Hax is going to take this opportunity to go into Sock which is a big threat to his team, seeing as he has nothing to take a hit very well. Now that Sock has knockoff in this gen. Um, he goes to the close combat. Wow, a big 73 to Seismitoad. I guess it was defensive on the way that he brought it in, but he's not going to be taking that hit very well. Shows that he is um, a banded Sock for sure. That is so much damage. Okay. And turn 2, he's going to leave. Or, I mean, turn 4, the second poke goes down. And it's from Tennis, and now it's 5v5. He leaves the Seismitoad in to die to bring in Mesprit. So they're foddering pokes to get some momentum. He goes to the end of Rotom as he goes to the Dazzling Gleam. I guess he predicted him um, to want Liopard to come in and goes into his Rotom instead. Okay, and now he's going to Volt Switch out and go into his big miss stake. Doesn't want Rotom to take any more hits. Um, didn't take that hit um, very well, um, the Rotom not that is. He, so um, he's going to go for the fake out as uh, Mesprit switches out into Girder. That is a potential threat to his team. He could bulk up. Let's see. He goes into Sock, which is a very interesting play as the Girder just um, drain punches. He doesn't want to set up or anything. Let's see what goes down. He's just not even going to take his time. He's just going to fire off a huge banded close combat. And let's see what the Girder wants to do. He just wants to retaliate with drain punch and take him out. So that leaves it with Hacks, hacks at um, 4 Pokemon and Tennis at 5. But he is going to take this opportunity to bring in another huge threat, a Typhlosion, which could be Scarf or Specs, who will we know? He goes for the Flamethrower, and Legend has he has 3 fire moves, so that he doesn't miss the Fire Blast sometimes. So he locks himself into fire, uh, Flamethrower instead of Fire Blast, and um, it doesn't do much at all to that mess, right? showing that it could be specially offensive Assault Vest. Or it could just be a Scarf Typhlosion, you never know. Anyways, uh, the mess for it goes down, so that makes it 4 versus 3. Because um, he took the Girder down and then the mess for it down. So now he's going in to his, um, his Fletchender to finally stop the Typhlosion. And it goes down, making it 3 versus 3. He goes, Hax goes into his Rotom as the Tennis goes for the Roost. And he takes that hit rather well for being a Fletchender. Wow, oh my gosh. Took that very well, and he's gonna go into big mistake, and he's gonna go for the pick up. Oh my gosh, it lives with four percent. Look at that, and the Fletchinger is going for the roost. He's just staying in here, taking hits for days. No, Hax predicts that and goes for the earthquake. Very well predicted by that. But had he attacked or gone into shift tree, that could have been bad. So that was quite a risky play, but it paid off very well in his favor. He brings in shift tree. He does not want to take a sucker punch or any hit in that factor. He could have taken him out in one hit had he stayed in, so another risky play from Tennis. Some good players here know when to take the risks. He sees that he has a life orb, and he encores him, which is very interesting, as he knockoffs and just take out, takes out his life orb. So let's see what wants to happen here. Um, oh, okay, so it makes sense now he encored so that he can safely bring in his king skin. We've seen that a lot this game. Foddering Pokemon to bring in a very strong offensive threat. And he goes to the double edge, does a lot to the Magneton, showing that is not Eviolite, probably Specs or some strange item. And he's going to double into Shiftry to take the Earthquake. That is very interesting. What if he had Drain Punch or a Fighting Move? I'm not sure. I did show him Earthquake, or Hack showed him Earthquake, so that's interesting. And he switches into Rotom, predicting the Sucker Punch. Amazing plays here. And he goes for the Shadow Ball, predicting him to predict or I mean to go for the sucker, or not, a little, not go for the sucker punch. And it's going to be a double down here due to Life Orb, and it's going to be Kangaskhan versus Magneton. It looks like Hex um, knew what to fodder and knew what to throw down in order to bring it to such a situation where it was three versus one. It seemed very even, but it ended up Magneton versus Kangaskhan, and Kangaskhan was able to win 
that was a great game. I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned. Have a great rest of your day.